Hi everyone, Jerry here from Maintenance Monday. Say, I want to let you know on this video I'm uploading today, I was working on a drywall job last week in a bathroom. And I finished the job, but that video didn't have the completion of it where I was sanding down the drywall so you can see it, how it looks sanded. The homeowner decided they wanted to paint it themselves. They hired me to hang the drywall and do the finishing, which I did. Hung the uh, green drywall, which is waterproof, mold resistant. Uh, that bathroom of theirs seems like a high contents of uh, condensation buildup, steam, and everything from showers, big family. And they're going to put in a good sized vent so they don't have problems in the future with the drywall getting moldy and rotting out eventually. So that's the best way to go. We went the whole drywall for the whole bathroom. We went with that to green board and they liked it. They were happy with it. But I want you to know, say, wait, I want to thank you for watching our videos here on Maintenance Monday. I enjoy bringing these for you to watch and uh, I'm always doing some kind of different maintenance and it's just interesting to see the project, uh, how I do it and the completion of it, of before, during, and after. And uh, anyhow, I'm, I'm hopeful that you can get something out of them. Maybe you can learn something or just even just like watching them. Uh, and uh, anyways, you can pass it on. Don't forget to share our videos, post a comment, hit the like button, and subscribe. And I want to thank you very much again. Have a blessed day and a wonderful week to come. See you later. Bye-bye. This is the bathroom I showed you last week on Maintenance Monday that I finished. But didn't have the sanding done yet when I put up the video. So I'm showing you now how it looks sanded. So we started with the drywall tore out. Put on the green board, which is water resistant, mold resistant. And uh, especially in a bathroom like this, it seems to steam up quite a bit for them. And so then I sanded it down. They're going to paint it and prime it themselves. But I just wanted to show you how it looks when it's all sanded and ready to go for paint. Okay, here I am on a job where I'm cleaning out these gutters. They're full of leaves, twigs. And this is where I already cleaned them out on that side. And then I'm going to be putting on a gutter guard. So that way when the leaves fall and the branches, it's not going to go in the gutter. They'll sit on top and you can clean them off easy. Or the wind will blow them off. So you can see the gutter is all cleaned out. All I got to do now is get this guard on the rest of it all the way around. Front and the back. Got the leaves out over here on this side. This one here too, this gutter. And go over the roof. And we go here in the back side of the roof. Gutter all the way across this roof. Big one. It was packed full of leaves and debris. Oh, she's all cleaned out. Now I can put the gutter guard on. So I got the front side of the gutters cleaned. Now I moved out to the back side, which is a long stretch, the whole length of the house. This gutter had full of leads to the top, and then it had some debris in the bottom. It's been there for a while, just sitting in there, getting to be a nice mulch. So I cleaned that all out. Well, here we are. The gutters are cleaned out, and on this front side of the house, I got the new gutter guards put on, and this is how it looks when they're in place. They're in there secure. They snap in. They slide up underneath the roofing, and it'll hold up real nice for them so they don't have to worry about the leaves, especially from this tree right here. Okay, here's the eaves trough in the back of the house with the new guard on it, on the eaves trough. All done. Looks nice. The first Noel the angel did say
was too certain for shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold